quesadilla, freshly made by the manager. Made sure there was no cross contamination. It's a chicken, plant based chicken quesadilla. Jeff, when he made this one, uh, went back and he got a fresh grill pan, fresh utensils from the back. He used gloves for every part of the quesadilla. So he had one, one for the chicken, one for the corn salsa. He, got, he opened a fresh bag of tortillas and made sure there was no cross contamination. And then cooked it himself because he wasn't sure the cook would be able to do it. So they'll definitely go above and beyond to make it for you. Be advised, there's a long way for it. It's really good. It tastes very vegan. Very vegan. I'm not a huge fan of the chicken, but the rest of it's really good. This painstakingly made chicken, cheese, vegan cheese cake and yeah. Chicken's okay. It does taste very vegan. It's diet cheese. I appreciate the fact that they dumped inside of the freezer, refrigerator. But it, I mean, you can't get fake chicken quesadillas anywhere else in the park. Three out of five plus. I completely thought that Disney had replaced all of their vegan burgers with the Beyond Meat patty, but we found one that isn't. And look at all that butamous stuff there. There's pickled onions on it. It's so cute, they had like the half of avocado just in its little individually wrapped vacuum sealed container. Okay, so the menu had it wrong. This is a Beyond Meat burger, but it's still really good. Mm. I would leave the parks for this burger. Really good. I guess in this case it's just a regular Beyond patty, but... Tasty. I can see why the princess leaves the park with this. It, uh, the avocado really like needs something. Just being plain avocado on top of the burger, but other than that, it's really good. Give that a uh, four out of five plus. Then I got the Cuban. I'm a sucker for Cubans. Um, kind of worried about it because they kind of make these like in mass. They don't make them fresh. They make like a bunch at a time and then put them under a heater. So we'll see. There's a huge chunk of meat under there, but it tastes like it's been sitting under a heat lamp. The bread is dry, the meat's almost completely dried out. Um, if they made it fresh, you can always ask them. This would probably be like a three. Based on it being so dry, I might give it a two out of five plus. 